fuck, see? I'm not used to, I usually have my mic on the stand, and hello, everybody, welcome to the show. Uh, welcome, welcome to Midwest Scumbags. Official video podcast now, so. Hello. Yeah, we know that you, have, I've seen the request, it's like, Elliot, you have to put your ugly ass face on camera, we need to know what you look like. We've had like seven descriptions, I've lied about my appearance. Um, I have many times I think, well. <laughs> like every time, um... So, you know, whatever. We're on We're video on now if we get it to work. If not, we do have the audio. Yeah, and the audio is always. It works, it I works. guess. We're, we, we, know how, we know how it works. Um, but, yeah, we are in the, uh, in the dojo, in the. <laughs> the goon cave. The goon cave. <laughs> Live from the goon cave, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck, Fuck. dude. The. I used to, uh, yeah, do you, uh, I've been smoking a lot of weed lately, obviously. Yeah, yeah well, you um, live in a legal state, I do, so. yes, I do, ladies and gentlemen. It's, it's great. It's, I mean, it's cool, it's all right, but, um, I'm at the point now that it's just, like, schizophrenia thoughts at points, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah. Weed and do schizophrenia. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking, it's. It's a real crazy. thing, it's a real thing, I mean, you, that stuff is. It's only coming out now, like recently, because you know they've yeah. been able to do studies on it. Yeah, and apparently it's not very good for your brain chemistry to do it all the time. Yeah, it's it's apparently if you have mental health issues, mm -hmm. you probably shouldn't smoke weed yeah. every day. But you know, I think it's more it exacerbates. Yeah, in like our pre-existing conditions. Yeah, I don't know exactly if weed will give you schizophrenia. I mean, maybe if you like went hard and were doing dabs twenty four seven. Probably you know, that would probably fuck up Ugh, your brain a little bit. Those I things, mean, I'd, oof. I don't. We got some friends that did those like we've a I've lot. Done, a, I've done a few, and it's just like I don't know. It's like it just gets me so high that I'm not high anymore. It's like it yeah. doesn't. I don't know. Because it was like we'd always smoke regular weed beforehand mm. anyway, so it'd already be stoned, and then it's like, hey, do this and inhale this that's totally not a gateway drug or anything. Oh, yeah, no. It's absolutely. set up in the exact same way. That yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just heat up this glass nail to burning hot, but don't touch it. It is very it. crack-like in a way. Yeah. It's very much like crack. A little, dirt, a, little, a little dirty. Yeah, you do have to heat it up like with a nail or like on a stovetop. Yeah. Or you have to use a butane torch. Yeah. And I'm not helping the stigma towards it, obviously, oh. but it just it just the way it looks, it's it's just off putting to me, you know? I wonder if you and could you probably could smoke it out of a crack pipe. You pro I mean probably Isn't that how crack pipes work is you put the little rock at the bottom and then you heat it from underneath and it I, melts it? Yeah, and then like the steam or the vapor, the vapor that burns and off you and you inhale that. Yeah. I only know what that looks like because of I think watching. We don't we have never Maybe. smoked crack. <laughs> I know what a crack pipe looks like. <laughs> I've seen like, movies. I've yeah, watched, I know. I watch Breaking Bad. Yeah, and... exactly. <laughs> or in a uh, Watchmen, the comic version, she totally like smokes crack. Oh and, yeah, that's like, right. Yeah, just like after her and uh, Al dude hook up in um, Archimedes, and they like go fight crime, and then they fuck, and then she's like, "Hey, I'm just gonna you know smoke some crack." <laughs> smoke some crack. Yeah. <laughs> they... <laughs> <laughs> They made it a regular cigarette in the movie, but it was like it's still it was mm. whatever, whatever. But yeah, I've been having I've been super paranoid. I've uh, do you ever do you ever wake up and have one of those moments where you're like, oh this this is a different universe, you know? Sure. Where like it, like everybody knows about Mandela effects or whatever, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But what happens when you're like, I know, I'm in a different universe. You know you now. are? Yes. Okay. okay. All right. I have really solid evidence that I've slipped into this universe, and it's not the same as the one that I started in, for sure. Yeah. For sure. And this is going to make me sound like a fucking crazy person, and this is like taped so everybody knows. Yeah, everybody it's like, knows this is now, actual right. evidence. I can't say, oh, no, that was just me putting on an act. Mm -hmm. um, but like. One of the PIN numbers changed on my debit card. Huh. So. Weird. And it's not What like, is that number, by the way? <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> I 
But like, yeah, I went to the ATM and like I have I have the two bank accounts, right? Mm-hmm. I need to close one, by the way. Anyway, um, but like I have one pin, and then for one account, and then my pin for the other account is mm-hmm. the reverse of my first pin. Okay. Just for everybody out there who wants to yeah, finds that. out either X or Y to this equation, you I can mean, it's solve. A, it's, you know, four numbers. Yeah. It's, you know, there's a ton of combinations. There's really, that. I mean, if you just get a, a, anyway. But it's the re- you know it's the reverse, mm-hmm. and I punched it in the other day, and like it was wrong, and I was like, "This is not wrong because I did it this specific way mm-hmm. because it's the only way I would remember." Yeah, and it's not that anymore. Mm-hmm. And then I went, uh, and then I went online, and I've had like my car's been financed, and I've had it like auto debiting my account or whatever on yeah. a specific day. Mm-hmm. And I looked at like the the history of it, and they were all on like a day before, you know. Mm. Like I set it up, like I set it up to be withdrawn on the eighteenth of every month because it was yeah. like I usually got paid on the fifteenth, and then I would at least have a couple days to make sure that I did get paid or whatever, you know. Some people, when you're selling bussy pictures, they like pull out at the last minute, and you're like, "Well, I already sent you the fucking pictures. What am I gonna do? Yeah. Like, I still have to fucking pay for my car." Right. Those but, chargebacks are killer. Yeah, yeah. So I had like you know a three day like bussy bounce back time period, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I went and so I went in to to look at it, and they've all apparently have always been taken out on the seventeenth huh. since my account has started, and I know for sure that it isn't. So. So you're in a different universe. I'm, I'm in a different That's universe. That's the only explanation. It's the for only that. the only explanation. <laughs> the only. I mean, for the, that. the pin, the pin, the pin thing is weird. That is very weird. Right. Right. That's. I. I, I mean, d- it's it's very possible that your date for your car thing just something it could happened. Have just been taken out the day before yeah. every time, and I've never really. They could have changed something with their whatever yeah, their, system. their system. I mean, I've had that happen with. Uh, my car insurance, I mean, it used to be really? taken out on, like, the 7th of every month, but then maybe two years ago, they start doing it on the 6th. Really? I don't know why. Mm. I never really... Maybe I'm in a different universe. Sounds like you slipped oh, into shit. a different universe, I didn't think dude. think about that. Man, I went with, the lo- like, the logical yeah. explanation. No, it's obviously not <laughs> the it does, I mean, being in a different u- universe is not... It's not what you would think first. I don't mean it's not yeah. logical. Yeah. I just mean it's, you know... It's not, not Occam's Razor, thing. for sure. No. no. Yeah. That's Occam's razor has never been correct, by the way. You can look that up. That's a hundred percent proven fact. <laughs> right. I mean everybody know every you know, the big thing is like back in whatever, 2013, 2014, a gorilla got shot and died, and ever ever since then things have been fucked shit. up. Yeah. I mean, also around yeah. that time there was the Higgs boson. That and, thing. Yeah, at the particle. exact it was like the same year. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was. And it was the year that it, that we graduated high school. Which means the universe yeah, revolves around us. Right, obviously. Uh huh. And then if we're the center of the universe, and then your car payments start getting taken out yeah. a day before, right. even though 100% you've seen in the past that it was taken out on the 18th, then I don't know. Then you're in a different universe. Yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. we're in a different universe. I think been, maybe it was just like, right. maybe it's not a completely different universe. Maybe it was just like a like an update. Mm-hmm. To the to the the universal, sure code, the underlying matrix that is you know yeah. every everything. I mean, multiverse theory states that you know there are an infinite number of universes with different possibilities. Like we could right. just be in a universe that's a centimeter to the left of where our original universe is. It you know, be. it could be as small yeah. as that, or it could be as big as you know maybe uh, uh, Hitler. Mm. didn't kill a bunch of mm. Jews mm. or something and then maybe it was like uh I don't know <laughs> I don't know what 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 an opposite thing to that would we'll be maybe clip maybe, that. He, we'll maybe he uh that. <laughs> Hitler didn't kill he a bunch birthed, of Jews? he birthed 6 million Oh oh and he's like a queen bee situation yeah, yeah. and he just but he's also like self-loathing like he's a queen bee but he has he still has the Nazi armband right. but he's just like pumping out Jew babies pumping out. And then right. he's, and he's just like, like inflated. He's very big. Yeah. In a universe where men can get pregnant. <laughs> yeah. And also uh-huh. like have a gestation like cats or whatever. So yeah. you have like nine to ten babies at a time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like I like to think of uh, it would be like if the, the slurm queen in Futurama. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But like she had a Hitler mustache. Yes. And instead of squirting like slurm into cans, it was 
pumping a out population Jew of Jewish yeah, babies. Of Ash- yeah, Ash- Ashkenazi. Yeah, babies. Like they like they're born with the curls. Mm-hmm. Like, in, oh yeah, is that yeah. Ashkenazi? I don't know anything don't about know is, Judaism. Yeah. We dude. probably shouldn't we get should. into that. We probably we probably should stay well away from that. <laughs> I don't know anything about Jewish people. Oh. I'm completely ignorant. Their women are very women. attractive. Oh, yeah. I'll say that. <sighs> yeah. You, I, I'll, I'll second that emotion. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But that's all we have to say about that's all. Jews. That is all. That's the that's only it. stance that I will take is that I'm attracted to Jewish women, too. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, schizo- or weed gives you schizophrenia. Yeah. You probably shouldn't smoke yeah. weed so much. Shouldn't smoke weed so much, dude. Uh, it, it is a gateway drug. I mean, I hate to admit it. It is. I mean, I probably wouldn't. Have, and it's not so much like you smoke weed and you're going to immediately go on to like meth or whatever. I think yeah. it's more like yeah. if you smoke weed, you're going to be around people that smoke weed but also might do other things. And they're like, yeah. hey, you want to try a line of Coke? And you're like, mm. yeah, sure. Why not? I yeah. saw, you know, I watched mm-hmm. Blow. <laughs> i've seen the wolf of wall street that looks great that's, oh my god that's you know, that's that the great. movie that made me want to do drugs super yeah. bad quaaludes. oh my the god bring back the fucking quaaludes <laughs> <laughs> but i think yeah that's, that's you know it's it's not a gateway drug in the sense that it makes you start doing other drugs yeah it opens up you're going to hang out with people that do stuff like that. Yeah. Like, I never yeah, would have yeah. met, like, I, I one time I was buying weed in high school, and I, like, went through a guy I didn't usually know, but I knew he smoked weed, so I was like, hey, can I get some weed? You, you know, can you hook me up? And he's like, yeah, I'll take you to my, I'll go meet my guy after school. So I go with him, and we go to, like, this trailer park, and it's this Mexican dude, and he pulls out this, like, briefcase, and he opens it up, and it has, like, heroin, it has fucking, you know, meth. Jesus it has a bunch of stuff. And he had, so you just want some weed? Or like, I got pills too and stuff. I was like, I just, I just want weed, man. <laughs> it's Ooh, like, man. that's like it. So you the know, that's a, that's an example. Case. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it was like a a tackle box oh. kind of, you know, oh, okay. like a. But it was, was th- a big, a big. I was one. thinking like alligator skin oh, briefcase. Like case. That's what I would get yeah. if I was like a hardcore drug pin kingpin dude yeah. with the briefcase, mm-hmm. alligator skin. That would be pretty Ooh, sick, yeah. Yeah. That aesthetic. And you'd also have to have the alligator skin moccasins. Oh, the, fuck yes. Like, really super tight fitting pants. Oh, and... hell. You get the alligator chaps, there bro. There you go, yeah. Hop on my Harley <laughs> Davidson with my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> love is love, man. And it doesn't matter if you love bicycles or the embrace of another man. Yeah, yeah. We I, we shouldn't we shouldn't make fun of gay people as much as we do on the show. But whatever, dude. It's okay. They're okay to. You can't make yeah. fun of trans people though. You can't make fun of trans That's the, people. Yeah, you can't do that. I've now. already yeah. now. I I now have a face. You know, for my past episodes yeah. where I said some things out of context. <laughs> Taken out of context could be very bad. We never like. I mean, I Rape get... Island was a. You know, it was just that a was. Bit. A... <laughs> <laughs> it was just a bit. Just a bit. It's a one off. You know, yeah, yeah, one off. Yeah, yeah. We don't take things seriously on, on Midwest scumbags. No, no, we, we don't. For future, if we ever change the name, whatever the name is, yeah, you know. I've, we'll, I've, we'll go through the epi- Like, if we ever do change the name, I think we should go back and like any time we say the name, we should just. Cut it just out and cut replace it. it. <laughs> just a hard insert of audio, the, the, the like new, a, a badly one. recorded audio. I mean, we should. Yeah. I I am partial to Scum Incorporated. Scumbag Incorporated. The more is I think cool. Scumbag yeah. Incorporated, the more I think about it, I'm that like, is, fuck, that's. Yeah. In, mm. And that's also a good like business name too. It sounds good. Yeah. That could be. A, I mean, we might be launching an LLC with this video. We might have a Patreon that you should subscribe to, or we might have some other platform. I don't know. I think Patreon is like compromised now or something from what I oh, hear. Yeah, I don't know. Just in, you know. I mean, we could look, do an OnlyFans, we but like could not do an like OnlyFans. just have it <laughs> separate <laughs> from my own personal yes, OnlyFans. Yes, yeah, this wouldn't be for bussy blasting. This would be to strictly <laughs> donate to the show. <laughs> is what is what this OnlyFans would be for. Because it doesn't have, OnlyFans, it doesn't have to just be porn. You can do yeah. whatever you want on it. It's just mainly yeah. known for porn. You could be a fitness guy or uh, 
uh, motivational speaker. Uh huh. You could be, <laughs> you could be the Jordan Peterson of OnlyFans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then mm-hmm. also show bussy on the side. You could sure. do it all. Yeah. I think that's the dream that OnlyFans provides for yeah. us. Brought to you by OnlyFans. Shout out sponsor number hey. one official sponsor of the show. That's right. That's right. That <laughs> we can't say that. But we can say. We can say it, but I mean, you know, we probably have to put a little disclaimer. That we're like, probably, if they come know. after us, if like we got a cease and desist, we'd probably have to put a little disclaimer. Yeah. That's like, we're not really sponsored by OnlyFans. Yeah. We're, uh, like how, know. I mean, how much money would we have taken from the platform? Yeah. Anyway, you know. It's probably more just damaging their brand, but they also, yeah. you know, have people that spread their asshole open. They, so Yeah. They... I feel like we can't do as much damage as somebody spreading their asshole. Yeah. And, like, putting, you know, the OnlyFans logo over, the, like, right in the center of their asshole. And they're like, this is censored. censored. Unlock my, you know, my asshole OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. For only four ninety nine a month, you can look at every picture of my asshole. That's di- that is disgusting. That's so fucking gross, dude. I, hey, it's a grind set. More, <sighs> more power, you know, sex work is work. I, I suppose. I'm a full, full uh, supporter of that, mm-hmm. you know. It's, mm-hmm. it's the oldest... Uh, <laughs> The oldest profession. The oldest profession. It is. It is. I just, I don't know, dude. Like, like theoretically, if you could sell your body and make good money from it, would you not? You know? Like, I it's... mean, shit, a hundred bucks, for, or two, three hundred bucks for an hour, and like, yeah. you're, yeah. you know. You're looked at like a god for an hour. You're, mm-hmm. you know, probably the person who's coming to you has been desperate and sad and lonely for like you know 20 years after their divorce and like you know they're just they're hurt and they're like you know i never thought i'd get to this point and you get to be their savior yes. you get to be their jesus christ right but with a cock with a cock you know? <laughs> yeah right yeah right cock for a cock that's what, we're, <laughs> that's what we were t- i wasn't talking about fucking a woman i was talking about getting fucked by a dude <laughs> Or fucking another dude. I mean, realiststically, as men, like you're not, you know, it's not. You're, I, you're only totally gonna be fucking did men or getting use fucked the by dude men. As an example in that. Whoops. Yeah. Wow. Right. Freudian okay. slip, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but no, yeah, but you know, it's sex it's work whatever. is work. Um, yeah, I still like I can stand on my high tower, my what you know, whatever that expression is. Mm-hmm. I can stand in my ivory tower and be like, ew, that's yucky. But in reality, like, what am I doing that's any better? Am I contributing anything more to society than sex workers? Probably not. Probably not. I don't yeah, think I've had, not. you know, I don't think I've helped anybody bust, ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I could safely say the same. At least I hope not. <laughs> you know. I mean, that may change now that we're a video podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know how to get a hold of me. I'll put my Instagram in the in the description. Mm-hmm. I don't care. Mm-hmm. Fucking get at me. <sighs> you know, speaking of spreading your asshole, I've been, uh, you know, I've been looking at a lot of Rule 34 lately. Oh, yeah. And you know what I'm really sick of? I'm sick. If I go and I'm looking up Rule 34 explicitly... I don't want to watch some real woman cosplaying as a character. (laughs) (laughs) Getting railed or whatever. Railing yourself. (laughs) I don't want to see some fucking bitch dressed up. I don't. I don't want to see that. Like, I want to see cartoon. I'm looking up Rule 34 explicitly for cartoon women, anime women of legal age. Yeah. No, okay, okay, okay. Now that. Now that the realization is washed over me, a hundred percent agree. I don't. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, and I mean, the most of the cosplays are half-assed. Like, it's like, oh, I'm 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 this girl from this anime, and she's just wearing a Japanese, yeah, you know, school uniform or something like like that. Had pink hair. Yeah, she puts in like pigtails, and she's like, oh, look at me, I'm sexy Sailor Moon, and it's like you just have like a tiara, you know? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, but yeah, if you're going on to like specifically the subreddits. It's like there's a specific cosplay NSFW subreddit. Yes. Use that. That is what I'm getting. That- <laughs> a subreddit specifically, <laughs> Rule Thirty Four. And I was on. I like. I, I wasn't like 
I don't go to it. It shows up in my feed because I'm subscribed oh, to it you're on, subscribed my, on, on my your porn ma- account. On your home I, page <laughs> of your main account. Because <laughs> you have Reddit pulled up as like your your you're one of those guys who has it bookmarked as like your Google. You know, yeah. you open up Firefox and it's your your home page tab or whatever. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. But yeah, uh-huh. it's the rule thirty four, and I saw a real woman on there, and I was very mad. I messaged the mods, <laughs> and I was, <laughs> I was like, "This post needs to get taken down. This is not what I came here for." <laughs> you don't go on to whatever pahil dot rule thirty four dot com and find real live women. You'll find CGI women, sure, yeah, but it's not like real women. Yeah, you can't, I don't want to see that. <laughs> Dude, it's a problem with uh, fucking, like, AI-generated porn or just, like, just AI, like, women who are dressed sexily. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, it's, it's, uh, it's a problem. It's Mm -hmm. a problem. Because that, like, I'll I'll scroll through them. I'm like, okay, this is insane. This is hitting the exact, like, spot in my brain. Oh, yeah. And then you look at normal women and you're like, ugh. And then it's like, wow, they give, that's AI a problem. can make the perfect woman. <laughs> that's a, it's a problem. It really is. I mean, I, you know, I, yes, baby, I saw a picture of Alexandria Casio Cortez, and she had big mommy milkers. Like, I mean, <laughs> huge, huge. But it was AI generated, and it kind of felt dirty. But I was like, man, that is like a, you know, a, a, <sighs> yeah, <laughs> I yeah. want to say fetish because that's weird. But it's like, you know, she's an attractive woman. But it just feels wrong. I mean, I, I'm getting yeah. into, like, you can make a perfectly generic whatever woman. Mm-hmm. But it's when they use AI to, like, undress celebrities and stuff. That's yeah. getting into a weird territory. It's, yeah. Because that, that's in that that weird part that it's, like, you haven't actually seen them naked. Mm-hmm. But, so, like, but your brain fills in the details. But, like, if the AI is filling in the details for we'll you your everything. brain. We'll show you full frontal if you want. It, you just, you know. <laughs> And it can be whatever detail you want. Like, you want her to have big pepperoni nipples? You can <laughs> <laughs> you just put that in the fucking prompt. <laughs> and it'll do it. I mean, it might take a few passes to get right, but it will do it for you. It can, yeah. I mean, AI is the future of, like, for, if for coomers, oh, AI dude. is going to yeah. be, it's a game changer. Absolutely. I, oof, I had to get out of that game with the quick, dude. <laughs> I saw the AI stuff coming up. I was like, this is a slippery slope. I can't just be jerking off all day anymore. Not to AI porn, I, no. no. That stuff rots your brain. No, even regular porn will rot your brain, mm. dude. I've gone full red pill on porn. Oh, yeah. I feel disgusting looking at it now. I'm all and for I- the porn ban. I think they should <laughs> ban porn. I think it should be in every state. You have to enter your ID every time you want to. Fuck yeah. To get on, just to mm-hmm. log into Pornhub. They log your IP address. You can't log Hell in with a VPN. Yeah. Yeah. You log in with your IP address and a driver's license. <laughs> Track down all those dudes who are dropping those golden comments in the yeah. Pornhub section. Yeah, those That's guys. the <laughs> unfortunate, like, you know, you stop watching porn and you stop going on Pornhub and you're like, oh man, like a whole mm-hmm. section of comedy is cut out of your life because the <laughs> dudes yeah. in those fucking comments I mean, you gotta, are you mean, like, the post nut clarity hits and you scroll down, like, someone says, yeah. like, the acting was pretty good at the beginning, but towards the end, when she was gagging, it just wasn't oh. believable. Oh. Didn't seem like she was enjoying herself, or he wasn't, you know. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I have not checked the comments on, like, gay porn, so, like, I don't know. Maybe those comments suck, yeah. but... I feel like they're probably pretty funny. I haven't either, but... They're I'm probably sure they're awesome. Funny. It's probably way better than normal Pornhub comments. That's <laughs> I get a lot of, uh, like... <laughs> This is going to sound bad, but I get a lot of gay porn recommended to me on YouTube. But it's what? like, it's okay, it's not like full gay. It's like. Oh, it's like the clips? Like clips. Of, okay. You know, yeah, okay. Like, I get that. Uh, that one, the guy's like, get, throw me some numbers. Yes! <laughs> that's, that's from a gay porn. <laughs> that's from a gay porn. That guy's actually pretty famous. He's like, let's celebrate and suck some dick. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> but then there's that. And then I got, like, I think it's because, like, that. I think I told you about the uh, I'm about to come. I'm, I'm yes, that guy. Yeah, yeah. That so guy. like, I watched a few meme <laughs> videos of that guy, and then I started getting all. It was like, oh fuck. Plus yeah. that that Animan e- edit. You know, I got new Forge. He's in the Jeep, and it's the fucking black dude with the fat ass. 
Have you not seen that? I don't. I don't. I haven't seen that. <laughs> it's You're like show me it's. That. It got. It got used for, and it's been parodied a lot. I'll show you after the episode. Okay. I won't show you the full thing because it is actual gay porn. Oh, okay. Animated yeah. gay porn. I really don't. But the beginning watch gay is so porn funny, you, and it's been like memed on so many times. But yeah, <laughs> I watch those, and so I get shit like that in my recommended, and it, it's mainly the Umbat to Come guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I click on them every fucking time. I don't know why. I, I shouldn't. Just, yeah. But God, they get a fucking laugh out of me. Man. That guy fucking, he was overact. <laughs> like, it cannot feel that good. It can't. <laughs> I get the most depraved that I've ever been. I No, no. Like, come on, man. That's, that's too much. <laughs> been a nut. What, he's, like, he's about to cry. <laughs> Oh, it's funny. It's so fucking funny. God but, damn, uh, man. You know, I'm not gay. We're not gay. We're not gay. Gotta reiterate. Gotta make yeah. sure. It's okay if you are. It's okay I don't, to be gay. I honestly it. prefer gay people to straight people most of the time, but that's just because I feel... Never mind. I was... <laughs> <laughs> so what were some other topics that we had? Uh, there was a... Uh... Oh, xylazine, yeah. I wanted to bring oh, yeah. up the Trank thing. Xylo that, fucking whatever the fuck you yeah, said. Yeah, because it was, you know, it's another way that the CIA, FBI, whatever, the Politburo, oh, it's how they're... Politi, poli, poli, it's dink. how they're trying to just kill druggies. That's really, that's all it is. That's yeah. literally all it is. What, uh, Trank? Trank is trank? what it's called. It's getting, it's pretty big in places like Philly. In mm. California, San Francisco, mm. stuff like that, mm. places like that. But it's um, mm, the city of brotherly love, huh? Mm-hmm. The city of San Francisco, huh? Yes. Is there a trend here, folks? I think there is. This is the gay <laughs> episode. <laughs> <laughs> the, the talk about drugs and gay stuff. I'm just saying. No, I don't. I don't yeah, no. Yeah. That'd be funny if it was being used like poppers. Yeah. But it's not because people are dying. No, it's like, it, like a legitimate it, concern, and I'm making light of it, it because it, I'm a fucking from asshole. From what I understand is like it's a bunch of different stuff that's all cut up together. It'll be like crack, but then they'll also throw they, they'll throw fucking diphenhydramine, fucking oh. Benadryl in there. They'll crush that up, oh. put it in it. Some diphenhydramine. You know, motor oil and a bunch of other uh. stuff, and you inject it, and apparently uh. it... Like, it I can't like remember. Fucks what... you up super hard. Oh, it hard. fucks you up really bad. Yeah, I mean, you, the high is probably intense and amazing. God, but man, like it rots your flesh uh, away, uh, and it like can't be repaired because it like kills the, the flesh. Because so people are uh, becoming like literal necro- zombies. Uh, necrotic. Uh. I, yeah, I've seen some like videos of people that you and they do, and it does make you zombie like. Like you shuffle when you're high oh, on it, my and. God. You know, your fucking your skin falls off, so you start looking like a literal fucking zombie. It's fucking gross. It's insane. It's, it's like it's super bad. I mean, I thought fentanyl was bad. Cause, mm-hmm. I mean, that's because that's been getting a lot of you know. I say I almost said popularity, but it's not <laughs> popular. Super hot right yeah. now. Everybody's it's doing fentanyl. It's just the, the fucking <laughs> the cartels and shit. They're cutting their drugs with fentanyl. It only takes like less than the size of a grain of rice of fentanyl to overdose. Jesus Christ. And they'll like, yeah, and they'll cut their coke with it and shit. So people are like getting a line of blow and dying because it's, you know, it's an anesthetic. That's and what scares me about doing, doing hard drugs. Yeah, that's yeah. why that's why I don't go to parties and have friends <laughs> right. and be social. Because I'm scared of overdosing on drugs. Because a hundred percent I go out with some friends and they're like, oh hey we're all doing this Chinese Coke, and I'm like, oh, no red flags there, yeah. and then dead. Dead, Elliot. The podcast dies because I didn't tell anybody any of the passwords to my computers or anything like that. I mean, I have the, uh, I, I do have the shared email, so. Oh, that's true. I would okay. be able to get and post one final episode. Yeah. The, the, the solo the, episode. The rest in peace, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> Death, and then, yeah, oh yeah, and then you would have a solo. Yeah, you would have to do a solo. It would be the episode. solo episode. Or you just replace me. You <laughs> should just AI replace me. <laughs> 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 you just, like, you get on my computer and you take all the voice tracks that I've recorded yep. and run them all through an AI. And then, yeah, and then you could just have an AI version of me. I mean, there's almost 100 the hours podcast. worth. There's, I mean, that would, we're on what, episode yeah. like 70, uh, 60 something? 60 something, so there's but at least we, 60. the Metal Gear special was like two and a half right. hours, and right. you we, add up all the extra time we've done. Usually our in-person episodes are longer. Right, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I so it's probably pretty close to a hundred. That's it's, that's pretty good for a uh, you know pretty close. I, mean, I they think they were able that, to emulate yeah. Dagother from Morrowind. They were able to emulate his voice, and he barely had any speaking <laughs> lines at all. And they <laughs> they have yeah. him reading whole Lovecraft novels. Oh man, dude. So yeah, we could totally recreate our voices yeah. in yeah. AI at this point. That would actually be a funny episode. That'd be really cool. We should we should do that. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh-huh. You know what? Donate money. If you want to see us you get see the... more gear and have a better show than us sitting in the Doom Cave, like, you know, we could be, like, playing video games. Like, we could have a, I was going to say a professional camera, but you have a prof- your your phone oh, yeah. is a professional camera. So, we could do that. But Shout out to Apple. Yeah, shout out Apple main sponsor. Please sponsor us. Please sponsor. Honestly, like if we had a, if we get an iPad, like we could just plug our shit into the iPad and do everything from there. I think. I, I don't know, dude. But I don't know how any of this works. We're yeah. this far into it, and I still don't have a fucking clue. Yeah, I mean, I'm flying by the seat of my pants, and obviously, I. I don't have enough creative juices to knock out an hour every single week. It is tough. It's a really it's, hard job. Yeah. I don't know how Joe does it. Dude, right? He does four like three plus. a fucking week and then three, four hours. Yeah. But he also like can talk to famous people. Yeah. And I don't true. have any famous people anymore. Now that the queen is dead, I don't have yeah. any famous people that I'm related to. So... I was, I'm related to the queen, by the way. That's you canon. were related. I, I, was. I mean, I guess you still are technically. But she's gone. She's she's buried. They have her in that whatever that I was in place that they bury yeah. all the yeah. the royalty. Yeah, I wish I knew more about British royalty. Like I should, I should, but I don't because like you know we're discouraged to uh, pursue any kind of ethnic understanding. Or, like, you know, genealogy, I guess. I've had a couple family members that were big into genealogy, and I don't, like, know what they do, but they've compiled a whole fucking list of stuff, and I just, I want to get my eyeballs on it so I know exactly how much blue blood is in my veins and how much land in England I can claim. (laughs) (laughs) You want to hear my favorite British joke? Yes. Okay, so Prince Harry, you know, he had that that book come out recently. Uh Uh-huh. Okay, so (laughs) that's the context for this joke. So I went to a bookstore, and I asked the the clerk if I could get a copy of uh, Prince Harry's new book. And they were like, oh, sure, do you want the PDF file? And I was like, no, thanks. That's his uncle. (laughs) Hang on. Do I have to explain it? Play his uncle is a pedophile. PDF. That's what PDF I thought. File. That's what I thought. Yeah, but I, I couldn't yeah. remember any claims. I may have, was I'm... he the one on on the plane with Epstein? Uh, no. I thought it was. I thought it was Prince Harry himself. Is it Prince Harry? Is Harry the he is he? Uh, what's her Diana's son, right? Uh, and he's, sure. <laughs> and he married. And he married <laughs> yeah. the black chick, and it made the family yeah, mad. Yeah, he, yeah. Not the because she's black, Markle. of course, no. but it's because she's black. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised it's... they didn't kill her too, like they did Diana. <laughs> that's why they. That's no, probably why they moved to America. It's annoying to kill her, dude. <laughs> like every every fucking week, they they try to get in the news about. I mean, South Park did it yeah, perfectly they did already. Episode, they fucking right. mm-hmm. they nailed it. They just they just want attention. Yeah. Like that's all. You know, they didn't get enough attention being the fucking prince of England. Not really. He wasn't in line. <laughs> prince but... of Wales. Maybe he was the Prince of Wales. Wales? Yeah. Maybe you. Maybe he was Diana running was Wales. The whatever Prince. Of, I can't remember. Yeah. I don't know shit about the fucking. Yeah. I, I really don't, don't care to be anyway. honest. I know yeah. Diana died uh-huh. because she touched that guy's hand and he had AIDS. That's why the Queen oh. had her killed. It was because she, she didn't want AIDS I spreading didn't, at the point. Ah, <laughs> see, she was justified the whole time. Yeah. See, the Queen was right all along. You guys. Queen, why do you think she lived? She was like a vampire. She literally. <laughs> 
<laughs> have you heard of it? We're, since we're on the topic, have you heard of adrenochrome? You know what that is? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. where you, like, take a child and you, like, yeah. put the fear of God into them. And then you <sighs> drink their blood while they're super Ugh, scared. God And damn, that's why man. she was able to live so long. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's what the cabal of elites, mm-hmm. that's what they do. Like, Elon Musk. Jeff mm-hmm. Bezos, mm-hmm. All Hillary Clinton. Mm-hmm. Hillary Clinton is the big one. Yeah, that's, she's the. You know, <laughs> I think she's the one who like invented a dream. Pro- probably, like, yeah. She was because she just killed children for fun. Yeah. she just did it. But then she mm-hmm. was like, "It'd be funny if I drank their blood too." <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun? <laughs> Isn't this a bit? It's a good bit, you guys. <laughs> But yes, well, back to my point, like the queen had Ooh. Princess Diana killed. Yeah, yeah, probably. For some yeah. reason, I can't remember. For the Beanie Babies. Yeah, for the Beanie Babies, yeah. yeah. Her Beanie Baby were, collection you know, was off the chain. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So they, they needed to like artificially spike that market so mm-hmm. that they could cash out and keep the the rubies in the uh, crown. Yeah, they have something. that one gem they stole from Africa. That, oh, they, that's nice. That's one of the crown jewels. <laughs> I remember Fuck that being yes. a big deal in the news a while back because like, one of the crown jewels was this giant emerald or something. That rules, dude. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. I love crown jewels. Yeah. I'm 100% on board with stealing people's valuable cultural artifacts that would be and awesome, yeah. wearing them on your head. Right? You know? Crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and, and hear they, the they lamentations did. of their women. That's still my goal. Yeah. It's still my goal in life. And I've only done, like, one of those things. I'll let, I'll let... <laughs> yeah, but we'll let, we'll let you guess what that one is. We'll let you guess that. So what else is in the news? <laughs> this is the script for the show, by the way, you guys. This mm, is Very uh, detailed. Very everything detailed. is 100% scripted and written out beforehand. We do a dry run for mm. an hour before we even start recording. Um, Trank, you were talking about Trank. Oh, yeah, and then Trank, we went yeah. off on the thing. I mean, there's really not much more to say. It's there's just, not it's, much it's more. like it's what gross. the CIA did in the 80s when they injected a bunch of crack into black communities, except yeah. now they're doing it with white people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they probably have been doing it with white people all along, but they kind of did it to the black people first. They, they really, that, really that fucked up bad. the black people yeah, with it. Yeah, inner city. Nixon, yeah. right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Fucking Nixon, mm-hmm. dude. He really was a crook. He was. He was yeah, a crook. Not a very good president. He can't. Well, no, he him. was a good. Pre- he actually was like a really good president. That's the thing. <laughs> he got us out of Vietnam. He got us out right? of no, Yes. Yes. Yeah. I think, I think so. so. I took a, I took a modern history yeah. class the last time that I was in college. But he strengthened our relations with China and Russia, which at that time was like huge because you know we were coming. It was Cold War era. Yeah. Shit. yeah. Like we so, were actually pointing nukes at each yeah. other. So that was good, but you know the whole you know uh, spying on the DNC that was kind of a bad thing. Yeah, uh, that's probably yeah. something you shouldn't do. <laughs> probably shouldn't do that. Even though it probably happens all the time now, I bet oh I'm sure God. it like There's... you know they probably have fucking like spies for like the Democrat and Republican parties. I'm sure they like, do. I bet. And they, I mean, they have to. Yeah, I'd bet yeah. actual money on it. You know what's really funny about politics is that none of it fucking matters. That it's all literal bullshit. It is. Like, you could, I mean, you just put some random American citizen. Oh, my goodness. Well, um, I guess we're, I guess we're going to pause here.